two frogmen have just walked out of a big lake. One of them is a professor at a local college or perhaps a college from LA. And the other one's a student, student worker. And the professor says, yeah, I don't want to wait. Do some more extensive testing when we get back to the lab. But he has a little uh, a briefcase kind of thing with him. He says, I'm going to do some testing right now. And he gets the biggest smile on his face. He says, it's just like I thought. Years ago, this lake was pure water. Didn't have any salt in it at all. And the student worker said, wow, that's incredible. What do you think happened to change that? Hey. And, uh, the professor says, oh yeah, this core sample says exactly when the water changed from uh, pure water to salt water. And there's our answer right over there. And on a blanket, On the shore of that, that big lake are two very uh, white looking, statue looking kind of folks. Yep, pillars of salt. Looked like they were having a picnic when that salt I just took over and those two Mormons, you know, froze like that. And the professor tells. The professor tells the uh, student worker, yeah, right about the time the Mormons got to Utah, that's when this lake it turned into a salt water one. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, I'm Stone Cold, John Milton Brady, son of a carpenter Mary, and I always give you these uh, funny parables, and I tell you exactly what to do when the Mormons. The Latter day Sanders knock on your door. Demonstrate religious censorship to them. Call me, 424 229 4140. Make a video of your phone not working as you call me. To tell me what you believe. A lot of folks have done that past uh, year and five months at the Burlington Convalescent Hospital. 213 381 55 If you're going to call there, call quick. I'm moving. I haven't got one of those Semper Fi checks, 93 checks on my phone for over seven years. It's managed censorship in America. Point out that very dangerous religious censorship, and yes, so was 9-11. Religious censorship as well. Point it out by making a video of your hijack call and mail to me. I'll give you the next uh, address to certify your mail to and uh, any new phone number I get when I get there. But yeah, I've got this phone here. I'm going to have as long as my finances will permit me to have it. 424-229-4140. Make a, a video. One of those Mormons knock on your door to interrupt your family's time. They're trying to tell you what you should believe. You tell them what you believe yourself. You, you call me up to tell me what you believe. And you make a video of you not being able to do that. Not being able to reach me in America to tell me what you believe. And get their reactions for your Semper Fi check. DVDs to pass along at church, at work, at school, anywhere good folks get together on that military base. Brave men and women are fighting, so whoever is placed into uh, the presidency or any office can steal their family's mail or threaten them with a censorship of the phone. That's what you're documenting every time you call John Milton Brady and don't reach me. Make a video of terrorism in America. There's no other word for that. Just like that's our lifeline to emergency rooms, the one they were hanging up as I was trying to get some way to Station 3 
just 30 minutes ago. My phone can reach that, uh, that Burlington Convalescent Hospital. Just like they were just hanging up. Instead of coming over to Station 3 to sign me out so I can go take some photos of my work here in, uh, close to downtown Lake. That's our lifeline there, those phones. Those phone lines. To emergency rooms, and that's your family's lifeline to emergency rooms in your hand when you can't reach 424-229-4140. That's religious censorship. That's, you don't know when else your phone won't be allowed to work. Document that, and yes, by all means, ask everyone running for president or any office this year, 2016. What do you know about this? And demonstrate by calling me, John Melton Brady, at that number, 424-229-4140. I'll have it hopefully long after I'm gone from the Berlin. Make a video what you get when you don't get me. Pass along on those Semper Fi DVDs. you got to be the reporter. The reporters, those Hollywood folks you see on the news, all network newses, all local newses. Those Hollywood folks are thinking about who they're going to place in office next. You do their job for them. For one of those Semper Fi DVDs and pass them along at church, at work, at school. And yeah, can't reach vote dash truth dot blogspot dot com or my imagery of truth there that's political censorship in America and no I'm not running for anything I'm thinking about designing that Christ complex Jesus is house here you not being able to call me up and tell me what you believe about that or tell me what you believe yourself that's religious censorship in America yeah white hat is too small Christ complex going to be much bigger worldwide all you girls on campus, uh, all you folks on campus, uh, check out my parables uh, as you're at spring break or just uh, on campus and come see me. Walk through those folks' line to you about John Melvin Brady and be right here. Let's start building Jesus' house.